Knocking down Charlotte's art in Uptown to make way for new development. Queen City News has confirmed that the new owner of a property at the corner of East Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard and South College Street plans to tear down two murals. Queen City News anchor Robin Kennedy is live where one of the murals still stands. Robin, work is well underway out there. That's right, Morgan and Alicia. The machines are working behind us right now. You probably see them. The artists even say they knew this was coming. They say they signed waivers acknowledging that their work would eventually be torn down. But now demolition is getting even closer. Art is meant to be seen. Honestly, I was in awe. And there's no way you can miss this. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's my face. Deanna Bright had no idea when she sent her friend some photos, she'd wind up being the face of the mural on East Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. And then I see it on Twitter. The same day I'm riding the light rail with my mom and it's like, ah! <laughs> Deanna says she's always smiling, but her friend selected a different expression for the mural where inspiration and strength blooms. It just feels very surreal to me um, and exciting for the community. Like, it's huge. Deanna is a photographer and she got to document and people watch on the final days as the three mural artists completed their work in April of 2022. It was the beauty, both a beautiful expression, but also beautiful to see representation in the city and how the community was engaging with it. In recent weeks, Deanna heard rumblings and she even drove by to see for herself that the building bearing the mural is being knocked down. At the time that I had driven by, my face was intact. <laughs> it still is, but we don't know for how much longer. I would love for it to stay up forever. <laughs> A spokesperson for the property says this mural and another one near the street corner will be torn down. It does make me upset that the community won't be able to experience this. Art is meant to be seen. This is a beautiful spot like the Charlotte Convention Center. So you want people to walk out and be like, ooh, what's going on in the city? Deanna, hoping what's destroyed will be built back up. I feel that it's important that art is valued and artists in our city are appreciated. Now, the property owner, Millennium Venture Capital, they won't share with us quite yet what they're building here. But in May of 2022, the previous owner, Duke Energy, they told the Charlotte Observer that Millennium Venture Capital was planning to put in luxury apartments here and use this for a mixed use space. I'm live in Uptown, Robin Kennedy, Queen City News.